Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another video at Moorhead Homestead. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. I got a rather different video for you guys today. It's kind of more of an informational video. Um, I'm going to go over the top laying um, chickens, top laying hens, um, for you guys out there that are maybe looking into egg production. Um, maybe you're tired of the, the store-bought eggs, or uh, maybe they're just so expensive you're going to try to start raising your own chickens and uh, go on that route to get eggs. So... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go over a few different breeds of chickens. Um, how many you can, how many eggs you can um, kind of count and bank on getting uh, per week from these chickens. Um, how old they are when they typically start laying. And um, what kind of egg you're going to get from them. And uh, some, some things like that. So we're going to get started. So I have five chickens here. I'm going to kind of go in order from um, the least to the greatest. Um, this this is going to be based off of how many eggs per week um, that you can get because that's what we care about right how many eggs can we get how can we maximize the amount of feed we're putting into a chicken and get the most amount of eggs we can so uh starting from the lowest pr producer to the highest producer um the Osterlorp. Um, would be coming in at number five. Um, it's a good bird. Like I said, it's a top five bird. You can count on getting about 3.8 to 4.8 um, eggs a week uh, based on their yearly count, their average yearly count divided by 52 weeks. Um, 3.8 to 4.8. And these things will start laying um, from 22 to 24 weeks old, um, which is kind of the higher scale as well. Um, some of the other ones will start laying around 17 weeks um, you know, around four to four and a half, five months old. So um, these ones um, not only um, are a little bit older before they start laying, but you're not going to get as many eggs out of them. But this hen, this particular breed uh, hen set a record. Um, one of these hens actually laid 364 eggs in one year. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Um, now they don't average that. This was just one of those type deals where... Uh, uh, she's really spitting them eggs out. So uh, the Australorp comes in number five. Number four would be the Orpington. So they're, they'll start laying about five to seven months of age. Uh, um, and you'll get anywhere from 3.8 to 5.3 eggs out of them each week. And that's about 200 to 280 per year. Um, I didn't go over the Australorp. That would be 200 to 250 per year. So you can kind of judge off of that. Um, and these will be a large light brown egg. Um, there'll be some some eggs later on in the video that uh, it'll be the highest producing chicken, but it'll be you know uh, you won't get the colorful basket like you may be wanting. Um, we like a colorful basket here on the homestead, so we don't really. You know, you can go buy them plain white eggs in any store down the road, but you can't get them brown eggs, dark brown eggs, um, you know, different shaded pink eggs, stuff like that. So number three would be the Plymouth Rock. Um, so they start laying about 18 to 20 weeks, kind of kind of similar time frame as like the, uh, the Rhode Island that we'll get into here in a little bit. Um, they lay... The Plymouth Rock lays between 200 and 300 eggs per year, and that equals out to 3.8 to 5.7 eggs per week. So anywhere from four to maybe six eggs a week, which is a pretty good production. Um, that's taking you know one or two days off a week at uh, each hen, so uh, that's a pretty good number of eggs as well. And they're a, they're a large light brown egg, um, just like the Orpington. Um, number two which is what we have here on the homestead, um, is Rhode Island Reds. Uh, you guys know the red breeds are um, notorious for being great, great egg layers. Um, and they start laying anywhere from 17, around 17 weeks, which is about four and a half months. Um, so they lay at a younger age, um, and they lay up to 300 eggs per year. So that's five to six a week. Um, it's a phenomenal number of eggs out of a chicken. Um, 
and they're kind of like a dual purpose. The roosters, um, if you incubate them and use the hens for laying, the roosters get big enough for meat. So you, they're kind of a dual purpose um, if you want to take some eggs out of your uh, basket and incubate them and kind of build your, your hen herd up. You can also take them roosters um, when they get of age and butcher them for meat and uh, they'll be a good size uh, uh, chicken there for meat. So. Um, I said they laid up to 300 large brown eggs. Like I said, that's what we have here on the homestead. We get quite a few double yokers out of these things as well, which is always a plus. Um, and so they would be my number one. But if you if you give in all different scenario, all different characteristics, and all different um, things, that would be my overall number one. But we're talking specifically eggs how which one puts out the most eggs per year so number one would be the leghorn um so this is where most of the industrial um egg production gets their white eggs that you see at the store um it's from leghorns they uh they average 280 um uh sometimes three to 320 per year that's anywhere from 5.3 to 6.1 eggs per day um, they're a large egg but they are white okay um, there's no color um, but if you don't care about that if you just want egg production um, the leghorn may be your go-to chicken um, I find that the uh, the Rhode Island obviously it, for whatever reason in our area they're just a, they're a great chicken they're a great bird um, if you're talking overall um, best chicken dual purpose the Rhode Island Red but if you're talking overall what's going to produce the most eggs out of the amount of feed I'm putting into these chickens would be the Leghorn so uh, I will some of you guys may not be familiar with these different breeds Rhode Island Reds um, that's the only breed that I can specifically give you a lot of input on and tell you uh, we've been um, very fortunate whether it's the breed or whether it's uh, uh, just you know lucky being blessed whatever you guys want to call it um, but these Rhode Island Reds uh, they're tough birds they um, they don't die easy um, that's another plus that's another box you want to check because uh, it doesn't matter how many eggs you're getting if your chickens can't survive uh, you know maybe a colder night or a or whatever it may be uh, we don't have a bad predator problem here um, we have a video out on how we keep our chickens safe and one reason I believe our chickens are safe and we don't have coon problems bobcat problems um, skunk problems I know skunks will get in there and uh, and um, eat your chickens heads off sometimes and, and whatnot but but I don't I don't really think you guys can go wrong with either one of these um, breeds of chickens but like I said for our area for what we do um, we really, really like the Rhode Island Reds, and uh, I really, really think you guys would too. Alrighty, so I am in the house, and you can kind of see um, the color of these eggs here from the Rhode Island Reds. Uh, this is a little lighter one here, and uh, this one's a little bit darker. Um, but, I mean, you can see the size of my hand. It's a it's a pretty large egg. Um, you can see this tube of chapstick next to it. Um, it's really all I've got to, to go off of. I was looking for a, a quarter or something, but you can kind of see uh, in relation to it. It's, it's about as long as that chapstick and quite a bit fatter. So. Well, we'd like to thank all you guys for stopping by and clicking on this video. If you guys like this video, if you guys learned a little bit, um, maybe if this video helped you make your selection on breed of chicken that you would uh, would like to get, uh, please smash that like button. And, and as always, if you guys have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell on your way out. I'd like to thank you guys again so much for clicking on this video. And thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.